What's up, Grammy You? It's your girl, Becky G, coming live to you from LA. I grew up here in Los Angeles. I'm originally from Inglewood, and I am a songwriter, singer, rapper. Music has played such a big part of my life, and I think my love for music started when I was very young. I come from a really big family, and there was always a bunch of babies running around, and my only way of getting someone's attention was to entertain and break out into song, or be the one dancing in the dance circle at the parties, and I just, I loved entertaining people and um, you know I, around nine years old was when I decided to start it professionally and I haven't stopped since. Growing up I listened to all kinds of music every genre was playing in my house from country music to old school hip-hop to oldies I mean whatever it is as long as you can move to it it was playing in my house and growing up I, I looked up to a lot of uh, I guess powerful women you know Jennifer Lopez, Christina Aguilera, Beyonce, all those ladies who were, you know, holding it down and standing up for that girl power. The reason why I looked up to these female artists was because they were more than just singers. They were overall entertainers. Well, I guess you can say the internet changed my life. As you know, I got discovered off of YouTube when I was 14 years old. And it was by posting a cover of Jay-Z and Kanye's uh, song, Otis. I rapped 30 bars straight, posted a one-take music video, not thinking much, you know, it's just cool. And literally, like, within the week, we got a call from, from the record label, and they wanted to meet me. And I couldn't believe it because, it, you know, usually you think record labels wait till there's, like, a huge following or, like, a bajillion amount of views. And I probably only had, like, a few hundred. So I was like, this is crazy. My sound is urban pop obviously because I'm a rapper and a singer. To me, I love that contrast of having like a really just dope 808 sound and beat and then bam, out of nowhere, this pop hook comes out, slaps you in the face and makes you want to dance. Like it's just, it's such a cool, cool combination. And um, I think what makes my sound a little different is that I kind of take elements from life when I'm writing. You know, not everybody goes through the same things or experiences it the same way. So I kind of, you know, speak about my life with my own voice and um, about the sound, I think what's cool about the sound is I'm Latina and very proud to be. And I take a lot of elements from that Spanish heritage and, and put that into my music. Whether it's like, you know, I have this new song, it's called Can't Stop Dancing. And just everything about it is so like, has this like Latin vibe, but it's still so pop, you know? So it's cool, it's cool. I like to just take little bits and pieces and just kind of see what, what I can create. Things that I love to sing and rap about. There's one song that was on my EP that was released a while ago. Uh, it's called Loving What You Do. And, you know, it was my first official release as Becky G, you know, as, as an artist, like a little sound kit that I could give to my fans. And what was so special about that song is that I wrote it when I was 12 years old on my guitar. And to know that it made it through this process of like after like getting discovered and then, you know, getting signed by a record label and then, and, and it like made it to like an official release. That to me was so crazy. And the fans love it. It's one of our, our favorites. And then of course, my song, Shower. Shower has opened so many doors for me and has taken me to so many incredible places. I mean, all these cool radio shows that I get to do, that's like the song where like, even if you don't know my name, they're like, that's the shower girl. La da dee, la da da. It's just, it's awesome. It's such a great feeling. I feel like it's so important to take advantage of the internet as an artist because that is how you're gonna get your voice to be heard. And you know, I still believe in the old school way of you know, playing at little gigs, little coffee shops, and little shows, you know. I had my first show at Universal City Walk, and like, you know, I got to meet some cool producers through that, and like get to work with them, but I think social media is like, it's, it's right there at our fingertips, you know. You don't, you don't need people at the record label to do it, or you know, management to handle it. It's all in your hands, and you have control over that. And I feel like it's, it gives you that sense of ownership that when you finally make it, you're like, yeah, I did it, you know. So I feel like it's important to take advantage of it. My favorite social media apps, my favorite one is Instagram. Instagram because it's like a visual thing, you get a little bit of the videos, but then you get cool pictures and a lot of like effects to edit the pictures and it's cool. Uh, but I'm on all of them. I tell my fans too, I'm like, don't you dare even think that, that I'm some old man at the record label, like there's an old man at the record label pretending to be me. Like it's really me, you know, sign into all of my stuff and I love talking to them. So whatever way I can get to them, whether it's like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Vine, I mean there's so many, so. 
I feel like there's a lot of examples of people who have used the internet and social media to, to their advantage as artists. I mean, look at Justin Bieber. I mean, he was like the ultimate, like got discovered off of YouTube, then you get Austin Mahone. And then you got like newcomers like me and like Nikki Heaton who are like doing our thing, you know, got things going on now. And it's cool. It's nice to know that, you know, we can share our music with the world and, and not really have any limits. My message to people who are trying to accomplish something in, in entertainment, like for instance, like what I wanted to accomplish in my career and how I got to where I am is just be patient. Be patient and be willing to, to learn because the truth is, is that music is always evolving. It's always changing. And if you can evolve with it and change as an artist with, with music, it's, it's a great thing because you will never learn everything. You will always continue to learn new things. And also just accept that you know, it, you're gonna have to go through a lot of no's to get to that one yes. And even after that one yes, there's gonna be a lot of hard work. So just mentally prepare yourself for the work to never end. December 2015, we go to smoke weed, watch how was I, the forest motherfucking awakens, we gon' get baked and see that shit high.